What's your thing? I'm a comedian. I'm a stand-up comedian. Really? Yeah. He definitely has an eating disorder, because it's hilarious. I would have so much <laughs> material. Hello. Hello. Introduce yourself. My name is Rain. My name is Nicole. I am 28. I'm a mom of two. Today, you're going to be guessing who has an eating disorder. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What's your connection to eating disorders? I had um, anorexia nervosa throughout high school. That kind of shifted into bulimia, and now I kind of have just kind of unhealthy food thoughts. I have pica. Pica is when you have a craving for things you just shouldn't have a craving for, uh, like soap or chalk. You nervous? Yes. I don't want to assume someone that has an eating disorder doesn't, because for me, when someone says that I'm healthy, that is a huge trigger for me, because healthy is fat in my brain. How are you gonna guess? Well, I have a lot of friends who've had eating disorders, and a common theme is like a perfectionistic tendency, like this idea that if I get everything perfect in my life, then I'll be worthy of love. You ready? Yeah. Hi. So you're, you have a presence. <laughs> You're a, you are a, a bigger dude, so how has that kind of affected you growing up? Growing up, I definitely was one to make space for others and be like, oh no. Like, I'm too big. Yeah, I'm too big. Now I'm just kind of like. Oh, Owning it, yeah. that's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Do you work out? Yeah. Can I touch your chest? Yeah, go ahead. Ah! Uh, flex, flex a little bit. Ah! You seem like a really chill guy. Have you always been a chill guy? I was bullied a lot younger, so I guess not necessarily. What were you bullied for? Size, race. I don't think there's an eating disorder because just of how comfortable and how in your body you are. Yeah, look at that smile. I think you have had an eating disorder because of the environment that you grew up in. My good friend has an eating disorder. What's that pre-workout shit? Let's see Probably pre-workout. <laughs> see, you know what it is. Yeah, they be pre-workout and stuff. So you're wrong. I suffered from bulimia nervosa for almost 15 years. Oh my gosh. My parents served in the army and so they would be gone. So to fill a void, I coped with food. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then it turned from binge eating to yep. then bulimia, then with a body dysmorphia. It was just getting stacked. It's stacked on top and top. Yeah. I haven't really told most people this, but um, I would tape my body so I would seem thinner yeah. underneath my clothing. When did you get a Wrangle on it. When I became an adult, I went to school for like nutrition, and that almost, in a sense, was a form of healing because I was getting language and diction and figuring right. things out. And then knowledge is power. Yeah. No, truly. Yeah. Thanks, man. Yeah. Pleasure meeting. Pleasure meeting you too. I'm taking you in. You have a firecracker dress on. Mm-hmm. Is that bra from Tori? Uh, yeah. <laughs> it for sure is. They fit so well. Mm -hmm. I like it. Do you have a positive image of your body? It wasn't yeah. always that way, but yes, I think I do. How has your relationship with food kind of been? Yeah. You know, I would maybe try to do a diet, but ultimately I would just say, oh, I just can't do it. I'm never gonna be pretty. Certainly there was an aspect of, oh, I'm, I'm fat, I'm not good enough. So now it's, can I be fat and good enough? And that's, that's where I'm at now. What are you um, passionate about? Ooh, <laughs> I've been crocheting. I only just started in November, but I'm already making blankets. I got very into it very oh. quickly. <laughs> Is that a thing that happens in your life where you like find something and you just like pour yourself into it? Yes, and I realize as I get older, it is very much an ADD quality. <laughs> I don't think you had an eating disorder. Like, so like I'm still struggling with things and it's, I can't talk about my like dieting or anything yeah. without like showing really physical, visceral signs. I don't think she has an eating disorder. Why would you say that? The AD, ADD thing is so strong. I, I yeah. catch like a gust of it off of you. Yeah. you like, come in. It seems like you have outlets for those things and they just don't seem to be related to food. I don't think Leah has an eating disorder because she's the one person that y'all would put in here that make people go, oh, I didn't know people that were fat didn't have eating disorders. <laughs> Am I right? You are right. Hell yeah! <laughs> They're always just like, go find a random fat bitch, just talk, throw her off. <laughs> Not that you're a bitch. I'm sure that you're the bitch. I am absolutely the okay, bitch, yeah. but also fat, but in like a good way. I have gained 80 to 100 pounds, but I'd say at the point when I was 100 pounds less than this, I worried about my body image constantly. Mm -hmm. And so it wasn't until I realized that 
being fat wasn't equal to am I pretty or am I a person or am I worth it? And so I know it's very counterintuitive to say, oh, when I was 100 pounds less, I was less healthy and took worse care of myself. Mm -hmm. But it's true. I take far better care of myself now that I don't think my body is a failure. Totally makes sense. Can I hug you? Absolutely. It was oh, nice to meet you. You too. How are you feeling? I'm good. It's very warm outside. It is very warm. Yeah. Yes. You're not dressed particularly like for the weather, mm -hmm. I would say. Do you prefer wearing kind of long sleeves? Well, this is a very flowy top. Mm -hmm. It's one of my favorites to wear just because I think it brings out the green in my eyes. Absolutely. Can I ask you about your teeth? My teeth? Yeah. Sure. Do you have a medical reason for the spots in between them? No, I've always kind of had a bit of a fear of the dentist. I think your teeth are super cute. Thank you. What do you do when you're stressed? Putting away all of my electronics, sort of taking a, a screen mm. break and just sort of diving into like a good book. It's so calculated, like this is what I do here and then after that I decompress and then after that I do this. Th that happens as a response to something. I think she has an eating disorder. I think bulimia, because uh, bulimia can sometimes show up for folks like having a purging mm -hmm. um, process and all of that acid from your stomach will fuck your enamel up. Mm -hmm. Am I right, friend? Yes and no. Okay, which part is yes? Eating disorder. Okay, the bulimia was definitely like, just me like, eh. That's not jagging somebody else, that was dice. <laughs> um, I don't know, do you blow first to make it look better? Do you blow on dicks? I don't suck dicks. Oh, I'm making it worse. Okay, hold on, hold on. I do suffer from an eating disorder. It's actually called ARFID, okay. which is Avoidant Restrictive yep. Food Intake Disorder. But for me, it's always, always, always been about food textures. So for me, there are certain foods where if I tried to eat them, essentially my brain is like, stop. Absolutely not. Cannot. So if I try to keep going and keep pushing through, that will trigger, trigger my gag reflex and I will essentially be forced to throw up. So I can't even swallow what it is that I'm trying to eat. So as I got older and as I was in therapy, now it's more so that for me, fed is always best. As long as I am sustaining my needs, everything else doesn't matter. That's awesome. Therapy is awesome. <laughs> What's your name? John. Nice to meet you, John. I'm nice Rain. To, nice to meet you. You gay? <laughs> Are you? <laughs> hmm? Tell me. I get that way too much. You're not. I know. So if I was gay, would that make you think I had an eating disorder? Yeah. Why? It's like one of those in the culture things of like needing to stay thin. Has your weight kind of affected your self-image at all growing up? Because you look very healthy and very like well, thank you. Your reaction to me saying healthy. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I hate being called healthy uh -huh. because um, of my history with anorexia and bulimia. I wanted to be small. Yeah. You say healthy, that means I'm big. I think you had restriction. When you're historically have been dating, do you find you, you feel the urge to control what your partner does? Oh, that was something I worked through initially. Yeah, yeah for sure. I think John has a eating disorder. Oh, that's an interesting way to get there because of the control. Yes. Was I right? No. Okay. I don't have an eating disorder okay. at all. Just a flinch. It's just, yeah. Okay. I have issues with like body image and things like that. So uh -huh. that's something I'm obsessed with controlling, uh -huh. but it hasn't affected my relationship with food. Oh, okay. But, but I do have a very severe uh, peanut allergy. What does, that, what does that have anything to do with anything? Just some red herring that has a peanut allergy? <laughs> I also, I should probably like have more sensitivity to peanut allergies. Do you feel like people like poke fun at it too much? I, it, it doesn't bother me whether they poke fun at it or not. I didn't even know that was a thing. I've passed out, basically. Wow. From, I was at a baseball game and a guy in front of me was eating peanuts and like he opened the bag. It's hard to describe the smell, but it just almost feels like a poison. Like you just, my body is oh like, you need gosh. to get out of here. But you know, I'm watching a baseball game, we're outside, so I thought it was okay. And then next thing I remember is just my friend waking me up. Like, are you okay? No yeah. way. Dude, I'll try not to even think it that hard, just in case, until you start walking away, I don't, want, <laughs> I don't want to do anything, right? I see a lot of tattoos. Always keep fighting. What you been fighting? My demons. I was gonna say. <laughs> How would you say your physical body affects your mental health? I did have a hard time with it. Comments from my own dad at first, it was like, oh, you're you're filling out there. Oh. And then it was like, well, we'll go to the gym and then you'll get guys to come around. With comments like that, I'm gonna say, yes, you had an eating disorder. 
I think Shorty has an eating disorder. Cause that fighting demon shit takes a lot of fucking energy. I did, yes. Okay. It was laxative abuse. Huh. I worked out all the time and took laxatives every day. Huh. Because I'm like, I gotta get the calories out of my body as fast as possible. Wow. Started after I got my gallbladder taken out and I couldn't eat for a whole week and I lost 20 pounds. And then I go back to work and everyone's like, you look great. Because oh, you were miserable yeah. and vomiting. I enjoy food a lot more now. That's good. I was a good cook and people were always like, you probably eat really good. But I was like, nope, I'm shitting it out. Yeah. And now I'm like, I can actually enjoy it. Yeah. Thank you, can I hug you? Yes. It was nice to meet you. He looks like me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you remind me of my brother. And I have his permission to talk about this because he mm. had really severe anorexia. Okay. He's six foot eight. Uh, have you always been tall? Uh, yes, I've always been one of the tallest kids in my class for sure. You play guitar? You no. Know, you a gamer? A little bit. I'm trying to find the reason for why you look like this. <laughs> do you code? No, oh, I do not. Bitch. I'm off. <laughs> okay, what's your thing? I'm a comedian. I'm a stand up. Comedian. Really? Yeah. <laughs> what's your relationship with your body? Sometimes I'm like worried that like it's too wide. Sometimes I'm worried I'm too skinny. The best way I can describe it is I don't know how I look. Whoa. Yeah. I could see it being hard to have like an action item in terms of like how to change that. Let's go no eating disorder. He definitely has an eating disorder. Cause it's hilarious. Could you imagine him standing up there just being like, so I'm fucking anorexic. He's just like, yeah, and it's not my fault. Like my mom is bulimic. <laughs> my dad is absent. There's something like, you know, like he's just like hitting him. Boom, boom, boom. You're a lot like my brother. You're wearing like a sweater type material in the summer. So I would say you have an eating disorder. Am I? Correct. Okay. I'm anorexic. I said it! <laughs> I said you're set! If you don't do that fucking set, I swear to fucking God. I have a show this next week. I can write a set about it, get Yo. it filmed, and we can do something with it. We're gonna make something happen. Did you pick your outfit to cover your body? Yes, I did. I have a lot of struggles with short sleeve shirts, shorts. Yeah, I wish you could see the floor of my closet. The <laughs> amount of outfit choices I went through today. Um, For me, consistently not knowing how I look, I can at least bank on the fact that I am consistently not eating. Right. So then I can be like, well, at least whether or not I like that I'm thin, I know I'm thin, if that makes sense. Right. I am very excited for you. <laughs> And I sincerely feel like this anorexia thing, it really was just the universe trying to give you some really bomb material. You know what <laughs> I mean? Like you're in the process of writing a really brilliant comeback story. Yeah, that's a really nice way to think about that, you know, because like at the same time as like me going through that recovery, I've been able to communicate way better with like family and stuff. So it feels like I'm, I'm on that like that comeback tour, you know? It's coming. Yeah. It's gonna be a great one. Can I hug you? Of course. I hope that you have a good rest of your day. Who did Nicole guess correctly? Look at that. Oh, yeah, look at that. And thank you all for coming, and thank you for putting yourselves in these positions where we can learn from you and learn from your experiences. Y'all are my heroes. This experience and just seeing so many people that have had disorders in the past and where they are today, I'm realizing that I am far from that and I would like to get there. So yeah, I'm just kind of in awe of everyone behind me and where they are with their own journeys. And this is, you literally could be my brother. <laughs> uh, not just appearance wise, but um, I'm not gonna cry. Um, but thank you. Are you opposed to like a group hug? Yeah, I like hugs. <laughs>